Chip Irwin at Sun and Fun 2023, and I run Aero Marine, and we make a line of aircraft called the Merlin, and you'll see the ultralights on one side and the regular Merlin on the other, and the V-twin in the middle. Now, this is for our experimental light sport Merlin. We started with a 582 in the Merlin, which is a great engine and a perfect horsepower for the single seat and it's 120 mile an hour and a little pocket rocket personal aircraft at about a third the price of a, a two-seat airplane. And then we moved on to the HKS because a lot of people prefer four stroke and that's what's in this airplane uh, on the, at the show. And that's also a beautiful engine made for aircraft. But both those engines are now out of production. So a couple of years ago, we started looking for alternatives and there just weren't any in that horsepower range. But we did notice that there's thousands and thousands of ATVs and snowmobiles and motorcycles and jet skis. Uh, and, there, and many of them have a Can-Am style V-twin four-stroke engine in. So that's where this started. And it took us a couple of years to configure it into an aviation engine. And so we have a engine made specifically for us with aviation modifications for aircraft. And then we have a reduction drive made and, a, and then a custom propeller made. And now we've installed it on our Merlin and we have a, an excellent alternative. And actually it's a better alternative because it's four stroke and it's fuel injected and it's electronic ignition. And they build about 10,000 of these a month and their and their service centers in every state of the country, and they're so inexpensive that you don't even bother overhauling. If you fly a thousand hours, just drop a new one in. So this is such a better uh, uh, modern alternative that's uh, absolutely a perfect fit at 60 horsepower if you want to cruise in a Merlin at 120 miles an hour. So that's uh, Chip Irwin, Aero Marine. You can find more information at aeromarine-lsa.com or come see us at Sun and Fun, or Oshkosh, it'll be number 43 years in a row for us at Oshkosh this year.